Learning how to manage your waypoints is a very important part of using your Hummingbird units. For most people, 2,500 waypoints on a Helix 12 is tons of waypoints and you can store them all and never have to worry about it. But if you fish a lot and you're a hardcore angler, then you need to make sure that you understand the differences in waypoint storage. So this video is gonna help those that store a lot of waypoints and help you avoid maxing out the number of waypoints at 2500 on a Helix 12 or similar. Unit. If you've just purchased a Humminbird Helix unit and as I said earlier, you do tons of fishing, then I would strongly suggest that you do areas. So for example, if you're in Canada, you might have one card for, let's say all the Kawartha's areas and you might have another card for the Great Lakes. So those two cards would probably give you more than enough waypoint storage data so that you would never have to worry about maxing out. But it's something to be conscientious of when you start out fishing and you fish a lot. As always, if you find this video helpful, then a like, share, subscribe is always appreciated. This video is designed to help you save your waypoints if you ever decide to sell your hummingbird unit and you want to delete your waypoints from your unit so that you're not passing them on to the next person or let's say that you are getting a lot of waypoints and in the case of a helix you're getting upwards of 2500 and you are starting to panic then this video is going to help you avoid that panic you work way too hard to find those great waypoints, honey holes that are made of magical fishing memories. So make sure that you know how to back up that data so that you will never lose it. I did a comparison video on the Helix versus Solix units. And in that video, if you listen carefully, the Helix units have a limited waypoint storage capacity versus the Solix. This unit you're looking at right now is a Helix 12, and it has a waypoint storage capacity of 2,500 waypoints. The Solex has a waypoint storage capacity of 10,000. So that is a significant difference. If you are a Helix user, you will want to pay careful attention as to how to back up your waypoint data information using SD cards so that you will have it and not max out. If you get to 2,500 waypoints, what is going to happen is your unit will stop storing more waypoints and you will have to delete waypoints in order to enter more. I live in Canada, as you can tell from this map here if you're looking closely. And this is showing Lake Simcoe up here. And you notice that it's a cluster of waypoints because I have a SD card that is exclusive to Lake Simcoe. So let's say I had a thousand waypoints on Lake Simcoe. I also fish Lake Erie a lot down here. So let's say I have seven, eight hundred waypoints on Lake Erie. I also fish Lake Ontario around the Kingston, St. Lawrence area. Rice Lake is a popular destination up here. And you know, if I have 500 waypoints on each of those, it, you can max out your limit of waypoints on a Helix relatively quickly. That won't happen on a Solix as 10,000 waypoints is a lot. So as I said earlier, pay careful attention as to how to store your waypoints on an SD card. For SD cards, 32 gigabytes or less class 10 are the way to go. Make sure you know whether your unit takes micro SD cards or the full size SD cards. If you look around, you can find good deals on multiple SD cards to purchase. Keeping up to date backup cards is a really good idea too. So you can see I have a backup Erie 2 that I'll keep in a separate safe place just in case. And also you can store them onto a computer as well, make up another backup file and that way you won't lose all those prized waypoints. If you fish a lot and store a lot of waypoints on your units, I would suggest you do it by lakes or areas. You can see here I've got nine SD cards. I've got one open package 
and I've got the other packages labeled to protect the cards. Better safe than sorry. A small waterproof sandwich container is a great way to keep everything together in one neat little spot and protected. Currently in my Helix 12 at the console here, I have my Lake Master Ontario chip and I have my Lake Simcoe SD card, which is crudely labeled, but uh, it works and it's uh, better labeled on the package as I showed you earlier. Once I have the SD card loaded, I can take the SD card out and insert a zero lines card if I'm planning to do a lot of auto charting. And then simply put the Simcoe card in later once I want to save the waypoints. So here's my SD card that I showed you earlier and it is for Lake Simcoe. I'm going to put it back into the machine and watch carefully. Now, as I put it into the machine, it's going to register and it's going to say upload nav data from SD card. Now, be very careful because if I say yes, it is going to double up those waypoints and take it from me as one who used to do that and make that error, don't do that. You are definitely wanting to say no because you can see the waypoints for Lake Simcoe are already there. So I'm going to hit no. Now, what I'm going to do now is I am going to say, okay, I am done fishing Lake Simcoe. So now I need to store the data onto the card. So I'm going to hit the menu button once and I'm going to hit it twice. And I'm going to go to the nav. I'm going to go down to Waypoints, Routes, and Tracks. I'm going to right-click using the cursor. I'm going to go up to Options, and I'm going to right-click on that. And I'm going to go down to Select All, and I don't want to delete them because I'm going to lose them, right? And if I lose them, then, well, get, get the towel out and start crying because that's going to be a tragic uh, loss unless you've uh, backed them up onto an extra card like I suggested and you maybe store them on your computer. But anyways, before I delete them, I'm going to export them. So now I'm going to export. You saw me put the card in and it's going to say save tracks, waypoints, and routes to MMC SD overwriting all tracks, waypoints, and routes on the MMC SD card. So yes, I want to do that because I want to store them to the card. So here I go. And up top, you can see the nav data successfully exported to the SD card. So right now, that information is on the card. I'm going to basically take that card out and just push it in and then it'll pop out. And so now the data is now collected onto that card. So now you have it safe and secure. Now we're going to take that SD card, put it back into its little protective container, and we're going to put it with all the other ones so we don't lose it. Don't throw it in your pocket. Don't throw it in a compartment in the boat because they're small and they're easy to lose. Stay organized and you will be much appreciative of always being able to find your cards. Now that I have the waypoints stored onto my card, I have all my Lake Simcoe waypoints, but I don't want to go fish Lake Simcoe the next time. I want to fish a different lake. So what I need to do is I need to delete those waypoints. So I'm going to go back into options and I'm going to go past new and I'm going to go down again to select all and this time I'm going to delete. Now I am going to hit delete and it's going to delete all saved way tracks and waypoints. Yes. And it's now processing. And it says, please wait. So I am waiting accordingly. And I have a lot of waypoints on that lake, as you can tell. So it's taking a little bit to process. And it should happen pretty quickly here. And there we go. Now we look at all the waypoints here and it's an empty group. If I exit out of here and I zoom out back to where we were before, you're going to see that, oh, I zoomed out a little too far, sorry about that. And you can see Lake Simcoe up here and there is no longer any waypoints up there. 
Now, before I put my next card in, I want to make sure there's no waypoints stored on the unit because if I do and I put my waypoint card in for a specific lake, in this case Rice Lake, and I have waypoints on other lakes, then those waypoints are going to add into my Rice Lake card and I don't want that. I want my Rice Lake card to be independent with only the waypoints from that lake. So I'm just gonna hit menu and I'm gonna go menu again. I'm going into my nav heading up here and I'm going back into waypoints, routes and tracks. And I can see that in this, it is the empty group. So I know that I'm good to go. So now I'm going to take my Rice Lake card and I'm going to put it into one of the slots and I, it's going to come up upload nav data from SD card. In this case, I yes, want to upload the nav data because I want this Rice Lake, which is up here, uh, just north of Lake Ontario, and I want to put that data in. So I'm gonna hit yes. And now it's loading the tracks, waypoints, and routes from the MMC SD card. And you'll notice that I have 735 waypoints. So again, it's a, it's a lake that uh, I've fished a lot and quite fond of. And you'll see that now it's got a cluster of waypoints here. So if I had a thousand waypoints here, and I have 735 here, and Lake Erie, I have another 700. Well, I'm already at 2,400, so I'm already maxed out. So you can see why that I'm getting to that 2,500 point that I am storing my waypoints on individual Lake SD cards or area SD cards. So again, super helpful hint, and it's something that you need to do if you fish a lot and you have a Helix unit. So as we can see, the waypoints are stored up here and I've taken the SD card out. The waypoints are still on the SD card. So if I had a tournament partner and I wanted him to have my waypoints, I can give him this SD card and he can load the waypoints onto his unit. So uh, just make sure you understand how the SD card works, right? And again, I could take this SD card and copy the file onto a computer as well if I wanted to back it up. So there, there, there's definitely options here with the SD card. Now, the waypoints are still on the unit. The waypoints are still on the card. Now, if I was going to fish Rice Lake and adding waypoints, then I need to make sure the card is back in and I'm going to add any new waypoints onto this SD card. However, right now, this was just for demonstration purposes. So once again, I want to delete those waypoints from Rice Lake. So uh, once again, go back into menu, menu. And I'm going into my nav, waypoints, routes, and tracks. And I'm going into my options, right clicking on the options. And I'm going down to select all. And I'm going to delete because I'm not planning on fishing Rice Lake anytime soon. So I'm going to save, sorry, I'm not going to save them. I'm going to delete them, yes. And now it's processing. And you know that it was 735 waypoints. So once again, it's gonna take a little bit to process that. And once that is processed, they are gone. So right now, if I take and I zoom out and you can see that there are in the, it's basically the general area. I wouldn't fish, you know, farther than that. So there's no waypoints on my chart anywhere. So the next time I decide to go fishing, I'm just gonna take the card uh, for whichever body of water I decide I'm going to go and then I'll plug it in and I'm all set to go. And that's how you store waypoints and use SD cards. Thank you for watching the video. I always appreciate those of you that stick around to the end. And as always, a like, share, subscribe is very, very much appreciated. Take care and I'll look forward to the next video with you.